Here are Iowa Democrats' nominees for the highest profile races for 2022. Talking about Governor, U.S. Senate, the House. Of all of these here, just one of these, Cindy Axney, she's the incumbent. That shows just how much work is ahead for Iowa Democrats from now till November. So we asked Congresswoman Axney what her advice would be. I am here and I've won twice in a Republican seat um, because I'm very local. Uh, I do nothing but work for uh, the people in our third district. And I would advise anybody, whether you're running for a statewide uh, or you know, right down to uh, a local seat to, to stick, stick local. This is really about taking the voices of people like Kristen who got a hold of me uh, when she had a, a massive $40,000 plus uh, air flight bill for her daughter to get up from the Indianola to a hospital and didn't know how she'd pay for that. And so I wrote uh, you know, my No Surprises Medical Billing Act to, to get rid of that. Um, this is about us going local with those big issues. I, I'm, the, I'm one of the biggest recipients, unfortunately, of the attacks by Big Pharma because I don't support Big Pharma. I've written multiple bills and been on multiple bills allowing us to negotiate the cost of prescription drugs. Why? Because I've talked to way too many Iowans in my district who literally, literally have to determine if they take a full amount of insulin or they pay their electric bill. Go local, because when you go local, you will fix those big problems that are uh, unfortunately hurting the whole country because they're hurting the people in Iowa. And when I say go local, it means being there on the ground, listening, listening to what people have to say and hearing what they have to say, and then articulating for them what you're gonna do to fix this, whether it's at the state level or the federal level. And then when you win, go out and do it, because that's what's going to help seal the deal when you're in enough tough election again. So, you know, I wish I had more to say that was fancy, Dave, but I've won this race twice by being on the ground, by being named the most accessible freshman member of Congress in my first year, by being named the most bipartisan member of Iowa's congressional delegation now two years uh, in a row, uh, and by constantly being someone who's seen on the list of, you know, bills that the no tax, uh, no uh, no brainer tax bills that should go through. I've been on that list twice for two of my tax bills. I'm a very pragmatic solutions oriented person because it comes from listening to the people on the ground. Up next, now till November in the quick six.